So welcome back to another video. So uh, basically, I'm gonna go over my round um, here in Golf Club Rendena, which is about there's some elevation about 7,000 feet. Um, so you need to factor that in. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful course. It's a nine hole course. So um, stay tuned. All right, so we got hole number one. Uh, basically, it's a part three. It's about 153 meters, so 100, 160 60 yards to the front of the green. And since you have to factor in some um, some elevation, I'm playing my nine iron here. I can normally carry about 135 to 140, and there was a little wind in favor. Unfortunately, though. I, um, I managed to uh, stay short. The line was pretty good, but uh, I stayed short of the green. Um, I will tell you something about it, about the ball there, because um, I'm playing with a ball that was very, very spinny. So this is my second shot. All right, so that was a lovely little pitch. It, the ball, this ball right here, let me tell you what, it, it has a lot of check. But the only problem is that you lose some distance. So I managed to birdie my first hole with a little chip and birdie. And uh, we're going to the next hole, which is a uh, dog left right. <clears throat> Basically, you have to lay up in that area there. And then you will have about 100, 110 yards left to the, to the flag. And I decided to use my 8 iron here. This was a pretty good shot, lost my balance a little bit, but um, I managed to get it on the left side, maybe a little bit too much to the left, but um, it was nevertheless a, a decent shot. So now I have here about 110 yards, I used my 52. Okay, I kept it low, so it kind of checked a lot, but I the ball was below my feet, so and this is this was a really poor putt, guys. I, I really need to work on my putting. It's really, really affecting my game now. So I got this putt for par now. Kind of just uh, put myself in trouble for no reason. So I put this okay, but I just missed the line completely. So I buggy this hole. Move on to the next hole. It's a par three. Uh, downhill and the wind is in favor so you got again 154 meters which is about 167 uh, yards you're supposed to play to the right side to get some uh, bounce from there so this was my nine iron I hit it okay but again, I'm playing with a ball that was spinning so much that I was losing some distance. So the shot was pretty good, but unfortunately I stayed short to the left. So actually what happened here, uh, it hit the, um, the bunker and it rolled down. So this is my second shot here. This was a nice little chip on the bunker. This is to save my bar. So this one I hit pretty good, and I don't know why it just stopped right at the end. It was like half ball in, and it didn't drop. So fortunately, a buggy again. So I'm plus one at this point. Move on to the next hole. It's a par five. My first drive of the day, and uh, feeling pretty confident with my driver. Uh, this is a par five, so you want to stay on the right side because there's water on the left side so definitely stay on the right side and then from there lay up or if you get it through the tight fairway you can uh, play your second shot to the green I hit this pretty good but it kind of faded to the right so I ended I ended up to the right there uh, in front of the trees so kind of I kind of blocked my second shot there because I had to get some height. So this was a seven iron. I was just gonna lay up. This was a great shot, great seven iron. I just hit it above all those trees, 
clear everything and uh, it was a great third shot okay so i got about 112 yards i'm gonna play my 52 hopefully i can get there downhill a little bit wind in favor all right so i got my 52 here This was pretty decent shot. I played it actually right before the green and as you can see it just popped up. So it was a great great shot and this this was for birdie so great chance. These are the ones that I struggle with so I'm working on these shots right here. And I can't believe this. I mean I cannot believe I missed this birdie opportunity so that was really really poor. That's what I need to work on guys, so my, my putting is really bad right now, so I'm still one over, now move, moving on to the next hole that I'm going to show you here, it's a uh, par 4, one of the hardest holes in this um, course right here, it's quite long, it's 200, and, I mean 424 meters, so about 460 yards, you got to clear those markers there, and then uh, your second shot is going to be a long one, so you got to use a, a long iron. I got my driver here and try to get a good shot but again I got a ball that is spinning a lot so this was pretty good actually it faded a little bit but I got a, li a little pretty good distance on the right side of the uh, of the bunker right in the middle of the fairway so it was a pretty good shot but again it, it didn't get that much roll okay so it's 205 yards but there's wind in favor, so I'm gonna play my five iron. And I didn't realize, guys, that I was playing with this ball that spin a lot. I realized the next day when I test the ball and it was spinning so much, losing so much distance. So here I have my five iron, trying to get to, trying to play a draw here. Cut this pretty good, but it started to fade a little bit. It wasn't going to be bad if I, uh, I think if I got the right distance, but again, I mean, I don't want to be the guy who blames it on, on the equipment, but this ball right here, it stays short to the right. I mean, under, if I would have played another ball, it would have been on the, in the bunker or right next to the, before the bunker there. So anyways, I got a 60 degree wedge here, trying to get it up and down for par. I've been practicing the shots right here, so I got a pretty good shot here. Nice and close to the hole, and again, these are the the putts that I need to work on. So this is to save par here, I mean, one of the most difficult holes on the on the course here. Once again, misread it completely, pulled it to the left, and so I ended up with a buggy. So anyways, this was just a few shots that I wanted to show you guys. I feel pretty good. I mean, I feel that I'm, I'm driving the ball pretty good. And the, dry, the uh, bunker shots are pretty good as well. Hitting good iron shots. Uh, the only thing that I'm struggling with, unfortunately, like I mentioned many times, is my putting. My putting is really bad. As you can see there, these putts are here. I need to make some, and I'm not. And a lot of times I'm three putting. So... Uh, still shot in the 70s, but um, high 70s is not is not good enough. I think I'm just leaving out too many pots out there. Anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a nice. Uh, it was a great day, so really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.